<laughs> hey guys, what's up? What's happening? Oh my gosh. It has been too long. <laughs> the last vlog you guys seen from me is freaking the hoop dance competition. And that was back in like February. And I tried to vlog like since then, but I always just like just kept forgetting or like I just kind of lost momentum in vlogging. <laughs> um, let me, let me, let me know. Like, I just want to know, like, what's up? How are you guys? I hope you guys are all doing okay. You know, hope you guys are all staying at home. I hope you guys are all fine. I just, I really hope that you guys are all doing okay. Like, for real. <laughs> and if you're wondering about me, yeah, bro, me and Jacob are chilling. We big dog chilling. We just, you know, been home. <sighs> let me, okay, let's just, let's just talk about this year so far. So honestly, guys, it's been a wild year. Like, like for me personally, like as well, and things that are just like happening, like, do you guys agree? Like, do you guys feel like this year so far is just like wild? Like it needs to chill out. Like the next rest of the year should just be boring and plain. Like nothing crazy should happen. <laughs> Cause it went so hard the first three months. So let me let me catch you up on kind of what's been going on. Jacob doesn't have any school. He was doing really good in school too. Um, his teacher was really excited to like finish the year because he progressed like so much like the beginning of the year They were like, oh like we're kind of like he was kind of like he just barely made it to pass to the next grade, you know <laughs> um, So like his teacher was like I'm so determined to like work with him and like get him to where he needs to be so that he's ready for second grade and like I met with her before like um, the schools closed down and she was like Jacob's doing so good like he's right where he needs to be and like and it just made me feel like really great as a parent and I'm like oh my gosh and like I'm so thankful for his teacher for like really like striving to help him and just that in general just like made me super happy. Um, my parents are doing really good if you guys are wondering that. <laughs> I'm doing really good. Um, so if you guys follow me on social media you kind of know that I've just been like chilling. I just kind of like just like in social media like on everything I've kind of just taken a step back and just like was more worried about like than here and the now rather than like vlogging or like posting things on social media um but a couple of months ago well a couple a couple of weeks ago i got it's not funny um but i got into i got into a car accident i'm fine like i'm here it was just me in the car like i got a little bruise on my leg so that's about it um but my car unfortunately did not make it. My car got totaled. Um, and you guys don't really need to know the details of the car accident. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm fine. My car is gone. I, my poor 2015 Toyota Camry, it's gone. Look at that, there's my car. Hmm, <laughs> like dude, I took that hard. Like I was sad because that was like legit. It's not my first car, my very first car my mom helped me get in. My very first car was a Toyota Corolla. It was all cute too. <laughs> um, but that was beyond my control. Um, <clears throat> but this is this car was like legit my very first car. Like owning a car by myself. Um, and bro, I freaking love that car. You guys know that everywhere I went and like anything I did, I was in my car. Anybody knows, like all my friends know that whenever we go somewhere, they're like, you wanna take my car or your car? And I'm always like, my car. <laughs> Cause I love my car. I know my car. I like, <sighs> me and my car were just like one. But I'm very thankful that I'm okay. And then I walked away from an accident that could definitely have been a lot worse than it was. Um, and that no one else was hurt. Blessed, forever blessed for that. Uh, and yeah, like I've just been working. But yeah, ever since quarantine, everybody, like we've just been all, all at home, like just chilling. Well, except me, because I was going to work and stuff. Yeah, we just don't really go anywhere. Um, because I live in such a rural area, like I kind of just still go about my normal day like I normally would. Like I'll still go outside, I'll still go like running, I'll still like be outside and stuff because, um, I'm glad, I'm thankful that I live like where I live because I'm able to do that and I don't have like as many neighbors around, you know? Everything has just kind of been a blur, you know? Like this whole whole year has just been a blur. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see like what else I have to catch you guys up on. Um, 
but yeah you know still single nay <laughs> skinny still working still trying to go out places um a couple week it like a couple weeks ago before this whole thing whole quarantine me and my friend went to sedona my friend kl we went to this place it's called the birthing cave um it's super super cool if you guys can see that we went to this cave it's well it wasn't really a cave it was more like a like an like an arch but like if you like get a pano from like the bottom to the top it looks like this anyway it's called the birthing cave just because it's shape <laughs> but that was really fun hey guys what's up welcome back another vlog another day another adventure so as you can probably probably not tell um we're in sedona and i'm with kl <laughs> um make sure you subscribe to her channel you know, she does lit things. And we were like, what do we do? Like, which trail should we do? And like all the main trails we've already like kind of done. So, and this one was like recommended. This one is, what is it called? The Birthing Cave. It's called The Birthing Cave. Um, I think the trail is called Mescal Trail in Sedona. If you guys ever been to Sedona, oh, you guys need to get out here because look at this. Not her. It's a hard cactus. Ah! This all is me. Look at it. Everything's so like turning green. It's so funny because like this morning we woke up and it was all chilly and dark and Cameron. And like we were like, oh, it's probably gonna be cold. So I wore a long sleeve, brought my sweater, brought my like windbreaker just in case. And like me and Kayla are all bundled up. <laughs> then we get here. It's all hot. We're all dying. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Hey, we're better prepared than not. It's all nice today. Today is a nice day. I always forget that Sedona is like legit. A different oh, vortex. Yeah. We're like it's a different planet. It's always just different. Beautiful. So like, well, there's always nice here. Hey, it's always hotter than normal. <laughs> Don't look like it, but yeah, it is. it's nice. Today is a nice day. Hey guys, so we're kind of lost. So we are trying to find this birthing cave, right? Okay, so we're on this trail. And it's kind of hard to find. We ran around this whole trail. It's called Mescal Trail. And it's like a 2.2 mile trail. We followed that whole thing. And now we're trying to find where it goes to get there. I think we made it. So I know it's been a long time, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so today is, I don't know what today is, hold on. <laughs> everyone, I feel like everyone's just losing track of their days now that the like pandemic and stuff, like no one really knows what today is. <laughs> but today is Thursday, June 11th, guys. Um, and I go to work at 10 today. Today is my last day at my job, which is, I worked at Taco Bell. And if you guys knew that, cool. It's crazy to think that I'm going to be leaving this job. I mean, I know it was I wasn't trying to be there forever either. I wasn't trying to make a career out of it. <laughs> but I've been there for about two years now. Um, and I'm just thankful, you know, for the opportunities that I'm given regardless of where it's at or what it is. I'm thankful for the people that I've met while I was working there. Like my coworkers, my managers. Like, bro, I appreciate them all so much. Um, but right now it's just... On to a new, a new, a new thing, and I'm excited. But at the same time, I'm like kind of sad because new things are kind of scary sometimes, and we can't always avoid it. But most of the times, they're for the best. They're 
always they always have a good outcome <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that today is my last day at my job and it's part of like a bigger plan which you guys will all find out soon and if you know all my immediate friends and all my immediate family they all know what's happening um and if you know you've been listening to what i've been saying for the past couple years <laughs> this should be no surprise but i'm really excited for this to all happen um, but yeah, no more Taco Bell, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? We made it to Provo, Provo, Utah. Um, we're out here getting a hike in. We're gonna hike the Y. <laughs> question is, why are we hiking? Me. <laughs> so 2.4 miles. Natalie thought it was a fun idea. Me. I was like, we can bond. Me. Bond and death. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes since we started. Oh, sorry, 13 minutes. <laughs> We're barely at turn two. But this is the view now. You are my view. Me. 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 The way's over there somewhere. We are at turn five, halfway there. We're doing it. Getting it done. Hey, we did it! 10 out of 10 would recommend. Every 10 turns. <laughs> We're at the bottom of the Y. You can also keep hiking and go all the way to the top of the Y, but that was like an extra mile, so hard pass. Miss me with that. Me. Me. People are asking, that's Utah Lake. And there are there, Seven Peaks. BYU campus, Provo Temple, UVU is way over here somewhere, downtown Provo. We did it! We hiked the Y, 10 out of 10 we recommend. Morning at the Beno. Well it's like lunch time now but anyway, so me and Kayla are out here in Salt Lake, Cottonwood Canyon. We are gonna hike Lake Blanche Trail. But yeah, freaking looks beautiful out here. Like the mountains are amazing. Should be fun. All right, guys. So like three hours, maybe two hours later, we finally two hours made it. Forty-seven minutes. It was intense. Three point seven miles when you leave your car to get up here. Ah, <laughs> uh, but dude, it's so beautiful. Yeah, dude, super beautiful, but apparently there's another, like, there's two more lakes, but we're not going to go there because we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're going to eat some foods, and then we're going to head back. Um, yeah, dude, it's so nice. So, if you haven't seen them on the gram yet, go check them out. <laughs> 